Hello, everyone. Good afternoon, good morning, depending on where you're joining us from. I'm Karen Thixton, and welcome to this webinar. It's April 13th, and I sure hope you're not spending time on your taxes this weekend. I hope those are done. And I almost based this webinar a little bit on taxes, but I'm glad I didn't now because, as you know, there's a whole new tax package coming out next year that we're going to have to learn. All of us are going to have to learn what that means for us as independent music teachers. This webinar, if you're not aware, will be recorded and archived on the MTNA webpage under the members only section. So don't worry if you don't quite catch everything here. There'll be plenty of time for questions at the end. And if there's not, because I do have a lot of material to cover, if there's not, we will post answers on the MTNA webpage, or we'll also cover those questions in the part two of this webinar, which is on May 11th. My PowerPoint that I'm going to use today will also be on the MTNA website in the members only section. And I've also asked MTNA to email you a copy of my handout, which is primarily the PowerPoint. So stay tuned for that. I'm now going to switch over to PowerPoint. I apologize for so many slides, but with this kind of data and business information, I think that's the best way for you to see everything that I want to share with you today. Give me just a minute to switch over to PowerPoint. So hopefully you are seeing within a few seconds now a PowerPoint on the screen. And you may see me in the right hand corner down in the lower part of your screen. So we will start. We're going to jump right in. I have so much that I want to cover today and I do want to share as much as we can in our short time together. But I do need to note from the very beginning, I am not a lawyer. I am not an accountant. And if you do need legal or tax advice, I strongly suggest that you consult a professional. I will do my best to share some general information in those areas over the next hour, as well as part two of the webinar. But really, to run a small business, it takes a village. It takes somebody who understands taxes, somebody who understands the legal issues, the IT tech people, which for me is often a high school student who helps me set things up at home, marketing and professional development. Quickly to give you my background, just so you know kind of where my perspectives come from, I do have a long teaching background and it includes a variety of different types of business models. I've had a home studio since 1988, which is located in a rural county within Indiana. So it's a very different atmosphere than any other teaching that I do. For two years, I traveled to students' homes when I was moving from one county to another as a way to keep my income going. And then I worked for 10 years for a for-profit piano academy that was located here in Indianapolis, and I'll come back to that one later. And then since 1996, I've been adjunct faculty at Butler University in piano pedagogy. And also at Butler, I've been director of the community arts school since 2002. As director, I mentor over 100 young professionals who are our instructors. What's unique is about our community arts school is that we use college students as our primary instructors. They all have faculty mentors, and then I help to oversee all of the administrative and professional issues that they deal with. Because this is a business session, I thought you might also want to know what my business background is. And it's been intertwined with music my entire life, so it's kind of, kind of a mix here. As an undergrad, I had a double major in economics and music. And as a grad, I did an MBA and a piano pedagogy master's degree here at Butler University. I also spent two years as an economist for the US Labor Department in Washington, DC. Um, I don't recommend that for many people, especially in this current environment, but it was a good learning experience. And then for six years, I was operations manager at a Fortune 500 company. Many of you know me as the author of the column in the AMT called It's All Your Business. I've been doing that for 10 years now. And, and another great learning experience, I survived a tax audit. Our topic today is business planning for the independent music teacher. And I've divided this into two parts. The second part we're holding until May. 
and you can see the topics that we'll be covering in May. And those are really the nuts and bolts and a lot of the specifics that you get into once you have established your business. Part one deals more with things that you want to consider before you establish your business. It's challenging. It will be challenging to cover all of this, but we're going to do our best today. And again, things that we don't get to today, we'll just carry over to part two. So part one, the big picture. Here I'm going to talk mostly about global or broad issues that should be considered early in your planning process for any business, not just an independent music teacher. We're all creative, entrepreneurial minded teachers, but at some point, an idea needs detailed planning in order to succeed and be sustainable. Who is this webinar for today? A one caveat, I deal mostly with young professionals, so I do have a bias towards speaking to them. 